Sunday of Lent. Yes, second Sunday. Yes. Hopefully Hope. your Lenten yeah. journey. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Gospel, Gospel Truth. Truth. I'm Dean. And I'm Audrey. And this is the second Sunday of Lent. Yes, second Sunday. So hopefully your journey has been great so far. Yeah. You know, it can be difficult, but that's actually the theme of today's gospel truth. Yeah, um, we're going to focus on this theme of sacrifice. A lot of good stuff in the readings um, we want to chat through. But before that, do you want to give everyone a reminder of what we're doing here? Of course. So the gospel truth is Audrey and I sharing our thoughts about the word, the faith, happenings in the church. Hopefully by doing that, we can understand our faith a little bit better. And maybe you, the viewers, can get something out of it as well. And of course, we dive in to our readings TLDR. Let's dive in. All right. So in the first reading, we have the very famous story of when God asks Abraham to sacrifice his only son. Keep in mind, Abraham's been waiting for a son for a very long time. This is his only son. And God's like, I'm going to need you to sacrifice him. <laughs> I need that. And obviously, Abraham has doubts, but willingly does so. Yeah. And is about to kill his own son, where an angel just basically says, nope, don't do it. Stop! He's like, okay, you pass. Yeah, you pass. You You're pass good. You would be willing to give up your own son. That's all we needed to know. Yeah. Right? But the fact is, that you were willing to. Yep. And God is pleased. Yes. Very pleased with him. And says, you will have so many descendants because of this, because yep. of um, what you did. Or we're willing to do. Mm -hmm. The psalm says, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. And there is actually a message about sacrifice here. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving. Okay, so there's that sacrifice theme mm -hmm. again. In the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, St. Paul is talking about God willing to sacrifice his only son for us. Mm -hmm. He actually says, He who did not spare his own son but handed him over for us all... How will he not also give us everything else along with him? God was willing to do that for us. Imagine all the things God will be willing to do for us. Mm -hmm. And then finally in the gospel, we see Jesus' transfiguration. He takes Peter, James, and John up a mountain. And then all of a sudden he becomes transfigured. He's glowing white. Mm -hmm. And then you see him talking to Elijah and Moses. And everyone's tripping out. They're like... Like, like what are we doing here? Should we give him three tenths? Like, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> and what is going on? And then, uh, and then God says, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. And then Jesus becomes <clears throat> all normal again. And then Jesus says, hey, by the way, don't tell anyone about this. At least not until I've risen from the dead. And everyone's like, what? Like, what? What are you what talking about? <laughs> risen from the dead. They are so confused. Yep. But... But yeah, they they listen. So right? fun set of readings. Yeah, really today. fun. Um, and you know, reflecting on this theme of sacrifice, it's something that we see that's like a recurring thing in every reading, right? In the mm -hmm. first reading, Abraham is asked to sacrifice his son. Yep. In, this, in the responsorial psalm, literally, they said, "I will offer a sacrifice for Thanksgiving." Yep. Second reading, Saint Paul says. Basically, it's like God sacrificed his only son. Imagine the things he'll do for us mm -hmm. if he gave us that. Um, and then in the la in the gospel, it's not outright like I'm sacrificing my son for you, but it's like it's a little hidden, right? Yeah, the way we kind of thought about it is God and Jesus both know the end game. We're in the end game now. Mm. Right, that Jesus is basically going to sacrifice his human life yeah. for the sake of us. Yep. And so I think when we have this transfiguration and God's saying, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Mm -hmm. He's basically saying, look, Jesus ain't going to be here forever. Yeah. You don't know this, but in a short amount of time, he's going to sacrifice himself for you. Mm -hmm. So while he's here. Listen to him. Yeah, and make the most of your time with him. Exactly. Um, so, and obviously, not knowing what's to come, and <laughs> they're probably like, okay. Yeah, like, like we don't get it. I but... don't get it, but sure. Um, so, I think like this this recurring theme of sacrifice is, is so, it's really important, um, you know, considering we're in the middle of Lent, mm -hmm. right? And so, we're called to remember our sacrifices and why we committed and why we make them. Exactly. Right, these readings, especially during the Lenten season, remind us of the many sacrifices we make. We promise to make some sacrifices during Lent. Mm -hmm. Throughout the year, 
we make sacrifices for the ones that we love, yeah. right? The, our spouses, our children. Yeah. There are sacrifices that we make every day that sometimes even go unnoticed mm -hmm. by our loved ones. Yeah. I mean, can we, like, let's take a step back also and, like, should we remind ourselves, like, why we're even going through this whole, like, thing about sacrifices? Like, why do we do what we do during Lent and why do we sacrifice our time and, and why do we take on more things instead? Yeah. And I think when we sacrifice... We are essentially giving of ourselves for a person and for a cause. Mm -hmm. Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice of his life for us. Yep. By being sacrificial, we are basically empathizing with the sacrifice and the feeling that Jesus felt when he made that sacrifice for us. Mm -hmm. We become more connected and closer to yeah, him. Yeah, and yes, exactly, right? It brings us closer to, to, to Jesus. And I mean, just imagining like what he got, what he went through um, for us. And then here we are like, oh, like, should I cheat and just like have that cookie that I said that I would give up for Lent or, you know. Um, and, you know, like sacrifice is hard, though, at the end of the day. Like we're not, let's call it what it is. Sacrifice is meant to be hard. It's yes. not easy. That's why they're called sacrifices. Because if they weren't, you wouldn't be actually really feeling anything. Yeah. Right? And so when we think about how hard those sacrifices might be, we have to be reminded <clears throat> that God himself was willing to sacrifice his only son for us. Kind of in the same way that God asked Abraham to sacrifice his only son. Yeah. And so just imagine, if you think about how God is willing to do that for us, not only will that get us through the difficulty mm -hmm. of making the sacrifices, but it will motivate us yeah. to continue doing that and living that way. Yeah, it, yeah, and that's the hope there, right? Like, if God can give like up his only, like, this one, his son, um, surely we can... We can, you know, push ourselves to commit to what, you know, the sacrifices we committed to making. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a it's there's a whole spiritual benefit um, to it, essentially, right? I mean, it's like working out. Yeah, like think about it when you work out. Yeah. Right? You work out, you're making a sacrifice, right? You're putting uh, your yeah. body through pain. Yeah. And sweat. You're taking time, like when you could be just like chilling, watching TV, just lounging, lounging right? around, eating. Yeah. But and then let's say you're watching your workout video and they know when you're starting to feel it. They know when they're putting you through the ringer and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so tough. And you're not even halfway through the workout. And they <laughs> remind you, remember why you're doing this. All right. Keep it up. You yeah. want a good body? You got to put up that good yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. Right. Focus. 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 And so the idea here is that we are going through a spiritual workout mm -hmm. when we sacrifice. Yeah. We are learning to give of ourselves for the ultimate benefit of having this spiritual joy of knowing how much work we put in. Yep. Right? And think of like the readings and maybe like people in your lives, maybe like it's us, like we're, we're each other's motivation, but we're like your coaches, right? We're like, just remember, like, we'll, we'll help remind you, like, okay, remember why you're doing this and you're not too far off from the finish line. It's worth it in the end. I promise you. Yeah. Um, and so people in our lives, our peers, um, our family, our friends, um, people in the church or communities, they are our coaches in life. Um, if we want to stick with the workout yeah, analogy, like um, to remind us, you know, and push us and to keep us, you know, keep us true. I like that. Yeah, so... So big shout to the coaches out there yeah. keeping us on track. Yeah. And also big shout to all of you that are keeping on track as well. Grabby. We know it's hard. it is not easy. Yeah. But trust us when we say that those sacrifices you make are going to have some payoffs. You're going to get some spiritual gains <laughs> yeah. at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So, and God is very pleased and we promise it's, it, it'll be worth it yet. And he's really, he's cheering us on. Exactly. Um, so let's continue to... Um, you know, just reflect in, in this Lenten season on, you know, why we're doing what we're doing um, and how, you know, and whatever can bring us closer to Jesus in this time. Um, hopefully um, we continue to have a fruitful Lenten season and we look forward to talking next week with y'all. All right, everyone. Bye. Take care. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Gospel, Gospel Truth. Truth. I'm Dean. And I'm Audrey. And this is the second Sunday of Lent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Three.
two, one.